Hi, Commander. Excellent work protecting that dig site. Spears thinks you did a hell of a job. A chip off the old block were his exact words. Referring to your father, of course. That's quite the compliment coming from him. A little emotion, As please. As you know, your father and Spears did a lot of work together over the years. Proved quite lucrative, too, for both of them. Hopefully, we can continue that relationship. Let's hope so. But we need more than one client if we're going to survive out here. That's what I wanted to talk with you about. Our next move. We're operating with a clean slate now, thanks to the new mercenary ID number Spears provided. A whole new name, new outfit. Now we need to get to work rebuilding our capabilities and establishing our reputation. Won't be easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. You up for it? What do you think? I think we better get started then. Plenty of war zones in the inner sphere where we can pick up work. A few safe harbors as well. Places we can hire more pilots, get our hands on cheap supplies. First, we need to earn some sea bills to pay for it all. Other than that, I see a bright future ahead of us, Commander. So it looks like this is the point where Speaking the campaign the future, is going to unlock. We have a pending transmission from IE already. Seems Spears has put the word out to his colleagues that we can be trusted to get the job done. Before diving right in, I recommend we head to one of the industrial hubs in this region. Pockets of relative stability where we can acquire new equipment and mechs, hire new pilots. We have more mechs than mech warriors at the moment, so it would be good to expand the ranks. Repairs are cheaper in these regions too. Either way, I've marked the location of the IE contract on the star map. It's there whenever you're ready. Roger that. Thanks, Rihanna. You're welcome, Commander. Okay, so... So 83,000 drew in four days. We've got co-op unlocked. All right, so now I can actually do some co-op play. So you've got to get to at least this point in the storyline before I can bring anybody else in. So essentially it means we have finally cleared the tutorial, which is nice. Armed robbery. In the Stellar Expeditions, the local systems are in shambles with many mercenary outfits are packing up and running while others are looking to ransack vacant merc bases. With only a few battle mechs to your name, it seems you need some more hardware. That's true. Supplies, if you want to stay in the game. My clients need supplies too. If you get your hands on some, we'll give you a healthy cut of the resale value. That should get you back on your feet after all, everything we've gone through around here. If you game, we've got intel on a system with an independent company from Hadlock's Warriors is trying to get to the system for good. If you're not afraid to shoot at other mechs, you should be able to chase them off and acquire some of their supplies. The surefire way to chase them off with minimal fuss is to shoot down the mech and it's merely in the head of security and the rest of the outfit should scatter. Woolen was not well liked to say the least, so you'd essentially be doing the Warriors a favour. Uh. Alright, so assassinate the leader of the opposing mech group. Uh, 78,125 sea bulls. 70 reputation and two unknowns for completing that. That's not a bad option. Alright, so we've got the freedom now to travel around the star map. Zooming in the star map using the mouse wheel. Showing the travel cost in both sea bills and time. Uh, no more than 10 jumps in any one course. Conflict zones are the only areas we'll be able to find contracts. They're shown on the map with icons. Yeah, okay. That all, that all makes easy sense. So, Brooklyn is where we're at. This is our assassination contract. 50,000 sea bills to travel in 13 days. That gets our mech fixed. B indicates the likelihood of encountering. Well, some mechs could potentially pop up out here. I'm assuming now we're actually clear of the tutorial, we may actually have the opportunity to start getting some decent damn salvage. Which means I can start doing some upgrades on my mech lineup. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking... Yeah, 2.5 million, we don't have enough money to do anything major at an industrial hub, but in 13 days, the only mech we've got that's damaged is going to be repaired. So, we'll go through and we'll do this contract. We'll take some money, see what our rewards are. And... Yeah, we'll go t kick the teeth of the few contracts in that we can actually do at our current level. And we have arrived. Alright, so contracts, arms robbery, 265,000, payout, difficulty 7, glacial ice at night. Alright, so at least overheating shouldn't be an issue. supplies is their leader Anders Wilman take him out and we'll be able to get our salvage crews planet side Wilman's forces have mostly fled the area but you should still expect some resistance all right um actually this way might be the better option come on do the stupid acceleration again Canyon, so this way is probably the best way to go. Alright, so top left, once you're in a group, we get a. Yeah, it looks like a health bar type thing showing an overall status for the Jenna. And that's where the, instru uh, the uh, command menu is to actually issue orders. Fair enough. Academy training didn't put us in this cold of an environment. Then your academy training was not sufficient. I really wish we had a heavier mech. But this should be fine enough. This should be fine enough. Difficulty level is 7. I'm not sure how the scale works at this point, but... The number appeared to be very green, so I'm assuming it's not that high. The, the problem is I don't know how large the scale is. It's pretty easy with the, uh, the Battletech game. You've got five skulls, and you get ratings based on half-scale in increments. So you know what the maximum is, and you know what the minimum is. This level of cold is actually impressive. God, the missiles are useful for taking these bloody things out. Miss. Set for the auto cannon. Shit. Where the hell did that come from? Target acquired. Aha, uh -huh, that's a mech. We have a locust. Component lost. I repeat, component lost. You lost components to a Jenna, mate. Uh, to, to a locust. 
target destroyed. Alright. You did. One. You lost an arm to a locust. Alright, that looks like the objective. Target acquired. You idiot! Get Take, taken care of. Get the fuck out of there. That's a hunchback. Freaking moron. That's a hunchback. gonna shell the hell out of him from up there because I'm not going down there to tangle with a hunchback. It's a burst fire AC-10 that he's got. So his AC-10 is bigger than mine. He's got twice as many medium lasers. And he's got a small laser. Oh, that stripped out his lasers a little bit. Alright, he's just down to his small laser now. the picture and we'll be able to get ourselves some of his much needed resources and hey the inner sphere is a better place without him mm. we fulfilled our contract commander let's get you out of here now yeah love to they've sent more mix going to try and run out of here while Lucas is chewing on my rear armor. I need to start practicing death from above. It would be fantastic to jump from up here. Nice. It would be fantastic to jump from up here and just land on his head. Or would have been. Ow! Jesus Christ. Well, I took more damage than I was planning. Come on, Dopey, before you lose your other arm. Well, looking at his health bar up on top, he's pretty knackered at this point. Although I can't really talk too much. Structure in the center torso. Armor everywhere else, but I'm structure in the center torso. Alright, mission accomplished. Reasonably quick mission overall. Um, probably could have driven that one a little bit better. Um, I'm familiar established, heading towards rank 4, 265,200 sea bills, 40 reputation, no mech salvage. Pretty shitty salvage overall. We'll grab the Burst Fire AC-5 again. I don't really have a use for them, but they're valuable to sell. Medium lasers are probably the next best thing to grab, and they're all low rank too. Although... Yeah, we'll just we'll go with the mead lasers for the moment, I think. 
325,000 salvage, 457,000 payout. No, 457,000 damage taken. Fuck me, so much for making money. Jesus Christ, 383,400 damage to the Jenna. You idiot. You fucking class A incompetent. We took a risk, Commander, and it looks like it paid off in spades. For both of us, your salvage crews managed to dig up a pretty decent hole, including an operational mech chassis. None of my clients are in the market for scout mechs, so consider it part of your payment. Okay, so we get a locust out of it, though. And some extra mead lasers. On top of a 78,000 credit bonus. I'll take that. I'll take that. Because that's still... God. He rooted it. It was supposed to be his mech and he'd be good at it, but it's... Fucked. And there is our Locust. Tiny little machine, but it's actually really good looking. I do like the Locust for a light scale mech. It's, it's pretty cool. No armor. Only light weapons. Uh, MGs and mead lasers. Mine's not looking pretty either. Uh, but yeah, only MGs and mead lasers, but um, it's fast, it's maneuverable, it's a pain in the ass to hit. So, its survivability actually isn't terrible, providing the pilot basically firewalls the throttle and leaves the throttle there. Alright ladies and gents, so a little bit of post editing here and welcome to DeBerry system. Now what we've just done is we skipped through to one of the industrial hubs, issued a repair order on the Locust, so to cut down the cost, picked up a new pilot and then jumped back out for another contract. There wasn't much else that we could actually do there at this point and we're going to do some stuff for House Davian. Now, I haven't got a whole lot of points with them as you can see, so I'm unlikely to get any mech salvage here unless the mission includes it as a bonus but they pay well. Now I just wanted to do a little bit of a post edit here to clean this up because I just spent about 40 minutes dicking around with the menu systems to work out how the running of a mercenary company in MechWarrior 5 actually functions. At least from a mechanic standpoint. It actually makes a lot of sense and it's pretty easy to do, but um, it wasn't too interesting to watch. So anyway, let's jump through to our contract with Hastavian. Okay, the hunt begins. That's cool, I like that. Reactor online. It's actually really cool. We can see the, uh, the deployment of all the mechs on our side. All systems nominal. Alright. This is a surgical strike commander. Our client wants us to take out a number of structures within this vicinity. Scout the points marked on your map. And Come on, dickheads. And the specific buildings our client wants destroyed, then take them out. Um... Yeah, I reckon we'll head straight down this way, and then we'll cut across and come back to the other one. There's no snow on the ground, but we got this white. Scrap that one. Oh, we got turrets in the area. Good shot. Um, you got this white stuff. I wonder if it's pollen. down and another turret down yeah all right give it to it those guys are good at tracking down and eliminating the turrets quickly enough
So the objective here anyway is to hit the buildings in each of the locations and get out. They will be defended, of course. Um, we are likely to see mechs, of course. We're likely to see ground vehicles and potentially helicopters, of course. Speaking of ground vehicles, SRM-20 Harrier. Wouldn't I love one of those attached to a mech? Yeah, the biggest you can get... Is done. Gotcha. Uh, the biggest you can get for SRM launches for a mech is SRM-6s. But wouldn't you love an SRM-20 launcher mounted to a mech? The amount of damage that would do? I need to get a chassis where I can set up a... Um... I got it! Good shot. Um, need to get a chassis where I can set up a good mix of... I, I generally like a nice auto cannon. Target acquired. Some SRMs. Destroy. And some mead lasers are a good general mix. Sort of like an advanced version of the Centurion. It's why I'm quite fond of the Centurion. I kind of like it. This is one of the first mechs we get. Target destroyed. Pow! One down! Got him. And... I got it. Turret. Oh, that seems to be everything. I'll give it to it. I don't mind the look of the cities in MechWarrior 5. The, the problem is, I it's got the same problem with all the other MechWarrior games. These little city hubs... That is a mech I can go over here. That is a fire starter. Freaking load these little tow rags. Although they look bigger than I recall here. those arms and flamethrowers for a start. Piss off with your machine guns. Got another one. How many hits are you gonna take? Help if I hit with a damn auto cannon. Finally. Okay, that did a uh, shitload more damage than it ever should have, without question. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, the, the, the city's got the same problem that they've got with sort of every MechWarrior game that's come out, and I think most of the, the other games, things like Battletech and, um, and even go back to the Mech Commanders, had similar problems. We've sort of got like a city hub or block, and it's all seems to be the way to go. Um, sort of all bitumened in and blocked in with buildings on top of it and everything else, but there's no infrastructure leading to it, there's no highways, there's no major roads. It's just a, like a multi-story city on a grid surrounded by wilderness. Wrecked, it looks tree. odd. Get wrecked tree? Did I hire somebody who frequents Xbox Live? Dweeb. Alright, anyways. Now if we cut down through here, then we should be able to make a right and we'll be able to approach the second target area completely from the north. It's quite pretty. The the ice maps are a little bit um, 
a little bit flat, but that's to be expected. But this this isn't bad. A bit of grass, a bit of trees, some interesting terrain. Big hole with water in it. Yeah, this is a reasonably pretty environment. I, I don't mind this. These leaves make camo so much more effective. Yeah, I'm not so sure that's actually a thing. Camouflaging a walking nuclear reactor. It, uh, it doesn't really quite work. Scrap that one. Parasa laser platforms. Target is done. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Oh, this is pretty clean just to pick off the defenses from back here. Actually, just looking at the way this controls. A sniper mech platform would probably work really, really well in this. Be able to sit at long range and just pull apart mechs twice your size. In the building, we need to hit on the other side of this city block, so we're gonna have to go up here. Target down. Never mind. All what targets the hell did they have been hit? Destroyed, Commander. Good job. Getting you an evac now. Head to the Mort location. Okay, this place kind of looks abandoned. I think it's pretty, but... Alright, so evacs just up around the corner. Yeah, it just kind of looks a little overgrown and just broken in there even from before we arrived, so... Target acquired. Destroyed. I love LRMs for dealing with helicopters. So we want to take a left here. So we want to go up here through this pass. And that should get us up into the middle. And the pickup is only 700 meters away. So again, pretty straightforward and easy mission. Nothing too complex here. Just run in, smash the hell out of everything. Maybe out of hostiles as well, nothing else seems to be approaching. Mm, yeah, not a bad start. And well, I, Let's get you out of there, the I others look okay. Stand I seem by. to be the worst damaged. And most of mine still seems to be in armor, not structure. So it should be a pretty straightforward repair. Right, come on. At least the loading times aren't quite as bad as in Battletech. They re still really need to tidy those up. All right, so we're making our way towards established. Uh, 265, 200 bonus, 40 rep. Oh, ha, ha, nice. Seven share cost out of 10, 2.635 million credits when we recover the fire starter. And we can spend uh, two points and get the PPC as well. This is a better haul. I like working for Davian. Um, anything else? Probably just the LRM. Probably just the LRM. That's not bad. That's nearly 3 million in salvage, plus 265,000 payout for 71,000 cost in damage. Jurita doesn't like us, but fuck the Dracos. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Anyways, ladies and gents, I think I'm going to pull this one up here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. MechWarrior5 will be returning to the channel 
fairly soon. So a bit of a skill increase going on here as well, so that's all going good. I took most of the damage, but then again, I should have. I'm in the heavy. Anyways, guys, until next time, remember to click that like button if you did. Share and subscribe if you would like to see more. And as always, take care.